D.H. Lawrence, Sons and Lovers. In A Sons and Lovers, D.H. Lawrence explores the tumultuous lives and relationships of the Morell family, who are living in the coal mining town of Bestwood. Throughout the summary, readers can expect to delve deep into complicated family dynamics, as well as the roller coaster of love and emotions experienced by the novel's characters. Through the portrayal of the mother-son relationship and the struggles of Paul Morell, Lawrence tackles the subjects of conflict between passion and ambition, the delicate balance of love and hatred, and the search for individuality. A Woman's Struggle with Married Life Gertrude Morell marries an uneducated and flawed collier named Walter Morell and lives in the coal mining town of Bestwood. Their married life is short-lived as Gertrude begins to feel disgusted with her life choices because of Walter's traits of being a drunkard, swindler, and womanizer. Gertrude alienates herself from her dreams and finds solace only in her children. As Walter fails to show his feelings and help the family due to jealousy and frustration, the whole family suffers in an atmosphere of powerlessness and alienation. Each of them is happier alone, and together, they make each other's lives miserable. Sons, Love, and Betrayals A poignant story of a mother's love that knows no bounds, a father's deteriorating love from alcohol and a son's life-altering choices, leading to betrayal. Gertrude Morell was not always a willing mom, but her fourth child, Paul, born with a grimace on his face, changed her life forever. Gertrude refuses to hide her love for Paul, causing a rift between her and the patriarch of the family, Walter. Walter's raging fits and alcoholism only push him further from the family. Gertrude's second son, William, finds a compromise between the two, siding with Gertrude against his father, which ruins his relationship with his dad. Meanwhile, Paul grows into a sensitive and melancholic boy that his mother adores. Gertrude's love for her sons is unwavering, but William's behavior changes, losing interest in his academic studies and home. His mother is worried about William and his snobbish girlfriend who does not appreciate the Morell's home or love for her son. Ultimately, William dies from a rare illness, leaving his family devastated, and Gertrude more determined to save her remaining son, Paul. The story becomes more poignant when William's illness unites the family again. Gertrude now directs all her love towards Paul in Paul's loneliest moments. Paul believes he is always under a watchful eye, constantly being evaluated, and turns to painting to soothe his feelings. Although he loves painting, his career is pragmatic and takes work in a surgical appliances company. Meanwhile, his younger brother Arthur, with little respect left for their father, goes to a grammar school with the help of the aunt. The book delicately describes the family's jarring, complicated lives and how it shapes their choices. At its core, sons, love, and betrayals are about a mother's love for her children that surpasses all barriers. William's poor choices trump his love for his family, yet Gertrude refuses to blame him, making the story a heart-wrenching tale of hope versus betrayal. She is a woman of duty and drudgery who avoids her pain by dealing more harm to herself, a tragic flaw that drives much of the plot. In conclusion, Sons, Love, and Betrayals are an emotional tale that captures the human heart amid trying circumstances. It is about hearts that want what they cannot have and yearnings left unexpressed. The novel takes readers through the trials and tribulations of the Morell family, ultimately giving an account of how a mother's tireless love cannot be betrayed by fate. A Love Story with Complications Paul and Miriam meet on a farm and bond through reading books and discussing them together. Although their love starts as purely spiritual, it quickly becomes complicated as their desires diverge. Paul wants physical love, while Miriam only offers mental and spiritual satisfaction. When she finally admits her love for him, Paul cannot reciprocate the way she desires, leading to frustration and abuse. Their relationship becomes tumultuous, exacerbated by Paul's mother's loathing for Miriam. The Art of Love and Self-Discovery Paul's journey to find love and self-discovery takes center stage in D. H. Lawrence's Sons and Lovers. Paul's mother takes immense pride in his art, which he dedicates to her. 
He is also promoted at work and studies textile design. Miriam introduces Clara, a suffragette, to him, and their life together becomes one of confusing signals. Paul continues to struggle with his cerebral relationship with Miriam, leading to their ultimate realization that they may not be meant for each other. While his mother and Miriam fight for his affection, Paul must eventually break free to start his own life. His relationship with Clara becomes an exploration of his sexuality, and while his time with her doesn't go as planned, it leaves him with a better understanding of himself. Paul and Clara's Complicated Relationship Paul and Clara engage in a passionate adventure while constantly concealing their mutual affection. Despite his loyalty to Miriam, Paul selfishly involved himself with Clara, a married woman. Clara expressed her disappointments about his selfishness and unfairness towards Miriam. Paul's mother remains disapproving of Clara, but impressed that she achieved what she couldn't, leaving her husband. Their relationship was filled with fights and struggles, but also with passionate moments of reconciliation. A Tragic Love Affair As Clara and Paul's passionate affair progresses, Baxter Dawes, Clara's husband, becomes increasingly hostile and violent. Baxter is fired and taken to court for assaulting Paul. Clara confesses that she loves Paul but doesn't want to divorce Baxter. Meanwhile, Paul's relationship with his mother becomes more strained, and he realizes he'll never find true love as long as she's alive. As their relationship wanes, Clara and Paul engage in risky public sexual encounters to reignite their passion. Paul's mother becomes terminally ill, and he ultimately assists her death with morphine. The novel explores the complexities of love, passion, and morality. Paul's Turmoil Paul's life starts to disintegrate after his mother's demise. Clara and Paul's relationship falls apart, while Baxter, his hospital friend, regains his health. Paul continues to be depressed and lives alone in Nottingham. His failed attempts to paint make him ponder the meaning of life, and he comes across Miriam at church one evening. He discovers that she has become a teacher and aged prematurely. She offers to marry him, but he refuses knowing that she would hinder his growth. Paul asks if they could have a relationship outside of marriage, but Miriam isn't willing. Eventually, she leaves him, resenting him for rejecting her. Paul is left alone and depressed, missing his mother. However, he decides to leave his misery behind and walks into the city's golden glow. As the summary unfolds, the profound emotional journey experienced by Paul Morell and those around him becomes evident. The book forces readers to examine their own complex relationships, ambitions, and desires. Sons and Lovers ultimately highlights the power of love, both in its capacity to elevate and destroy, as well as the struggle to find individual identity amidst societal expectations and overbearing familial influences. The characters in D.H. Lawrence's novel struggle with their own internal battles, illuminating the complexities of life, love, and the human condition.